Hello, 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 hello. Do you copy? <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Do you guys copy? Are you there? <laughs> I'm there, Lamp, Ferretti, and Duck. How's everyone doing? Hello there. We are here. We are here for spoops. <laughs> Thank you for the pets. But um <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> so basically I am now in between three games. Good spooky evening, yeah. Uh, as I've been saying, I pick like just cheap and short games, you know, that can be done in about an hour or so. Because that's around the time I, ha I have. My sister should be watching the FNAF movie for the third time now. <laughs> uh, basically, she got a, she got a friend. She had a friend from work that wanted to watch it, but like had no one to go watch it with. So my sister was like, yeah, sure. I mean, I'd go again. So there, that, that's that's where she goes. Was it that good? Not really. It was okay. Not to like rewatch. It's just like, as I said, she's just accompanying her friend. <laughs> because her friend from work apparently really wanted to go, but like had no one to go with and didn't want to go alone. So my sister was like, yeah, sure, I'll go with you. <laughs> so there she is. And the second time we watched it, it was also, we watched the, the streaming one. Since it's, it's also streaming. Uh, because some friends wanted to watch it. So we watched it together. Which is why we watched the movie <laughs> so many times. And I, I, I watch I watch a bit of it with Maple too the other day. So I've also watched the movie quite a few times. But anyway. I have three games, each for like five bucks or less. That caught my eye. I mean, I have a bunch, but some of them were longer. I was just going through through Steam during my my uh, my, my my work was pretty dead. Hey, Bellhound. My work was pretty dead today, so I was just kind of going through the Steam sale, you know, like wish listing all these very cheap indie horror games. Uh, but some of them turned out to be longer than expected. So now I I kind of went through like the lowest price range, you know, like five bucks or less and choose uh, three. That should be about an hour or so. So I have here and also they're pretty, I mean, they're small indie games, so they, sh they shouldn't take too long to download, even if I download them uh, during stream. The soup, but it's good kind. For the games? No, they're just cheap, you know, they're in the in the devs. They all have very positive reviews. That's the other thing I looked at, that they had, they had like good reviews. But yeah, I have <coughs> Summer of 58. Uh, Summer reads, in the summer of 2008, the main character, at the request of followers, goes to Russia to explore the abandoned camp Yunost. Locals say that this place is inhabited by restless souls. This will need to be checked. Hey! Alright for cheap on this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Whatever I have to correct. Hell yeah. 
Unity in the horror games. Oh yeah. Chip undies. Uh, I also have Fears to Fathom, Carson House. I've seen, I think a few VTubers are playing Fears to Fathom. Apparently there's like four games. Uh, this is Noah Baker, an 18 year old high schooler experiences unsettling occurrences while house sitting for a media personality. Little did he know what was about to unfold that night. And then I have Iron Lang. <laughs> which which Sunny will throw around every every chance he gets. <laughs> every time he has a horror game to recommend, he'll be like Iron Lang, Iron Lang, Iron Lang. So I don't think I need to introduce that one. <laughs> So it's not here played. <laughs> mm. <laughs> the absolute 4D chess move played while he's not here. He recommends it so much that I will play it when he's not here. But yeah, I don't know if you guys want to see the trailers, the videos. I'm, I'm peak for me. Also, I forgot to say thank you for the beat spell, hon. I was so, I was so taken aback by the, by the cheap undies. <laughs> That I forgot to thank you properly. <laughs> Chip on this. Wait, I'll show you guys the trailers. How can I do that? How can I do this fast? I'll just show you the Steam page. I have nothing. Nothing personal showing. So <laughs> I don't know, it seems cool, I think. It looks nice, yeah. Let me activate audio. Do I have any window source here? No, I do not. Oh no, I do. And Steam browser. Is that it? It's not showing anything. Ah, there we go. We're gonna get very, very small trailers. I'm just gonna, just gonna cover my face with them. Hey, Gazer! So this is summer of 58, as you can see in here. And this is a trailer. I will be wearing a hard rate monitor, of course. So that's one. Then we have this one, Fears to Fathom.
<clears throat> oh, he's playing this one, first to fathom. That was uh, this is Iron Lang. This is Sunny's Sunny's game. That's it. Those are the three choices. I gotta say though, I love the the system requirements that they <laughs> the developer listed for Iron Lung. System requirements minimum. Processor, any made within the last decade. Memory, one one M megabyte of RAM. Graphics, any made within the last decade. Storage, 200 megabyte available space. Sound card, any. Additional notes, you can run this. <laughs> I'm, bet I'm torn between Summer and Iron Lung. Iron Lung is short and really sweet. Where soon you though? We're so need to to shield iron lung. Paul? Oh, you want me to do a poll? All right. Start a poll. Question. Which game? Summer of 58. Fears to fathom. Iron Lung. Allow additional votes. Um, I'm just gonna give you guys two, two minutes. You have two minutes to vote. I'm not sure how long the summer game is. Is uh, I check all of them on how long to beat. Let me double check. It's an hour and a half. It says. So it'll be among those three. I think it's like the longest one. Then Fears to Fathom, this one, Carson House, it's also an hour and a half. Oh, no, I mean, they're, just, they're, they're about the same. And then there's Ireland, which is the shorter one, I think. One hour. Is this where the spoopies are going to happen? Yeah, we are currently voting on which game will be, will be spooped with. This is, uh, we're choosing by a democracy. The poll's about to end. We can pay to vote. Shh. Details. 
Fear Democracy. This is the special Fox brand of democracy. Happy Halloween, Blue! Thank you! Happy Halloween to you too. Alright. Summer of 58 is the winner. So let's go with that one. Do, do, do. To add to cart. Purchase for myself. Say my vote to the end to name the tie. <laughs> wow, two bucks. Pur chasse. Install content. If suddenly things look weird, it's because I'm downloading and I don't think I have a, a speed limit on Steam downloads. So it says it's downloading. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes 35. Two minutes 52. <laughs> Two whole minutes. Yeah. Not just 10 minutes, not just 5. But it's, it's, it's going. <laughs> it's certainly going. That Henya emote is so beyond cursed. It's actually creepy. It said a minute there. Well, a minute 23. 21%. It's going. It's going. This is a donut stream. Let me put on my my thing in the meantime. The the thing. The heart rate monitor. putting it in the right way, that's why. I know how to put this on, there we go. Thirty four percent, thirty five. I turn off. I mean, I turn on. Why is my phone vibrating so much? Oh, because I bought something for Steam. The vice status connecting. A beep! There we go. Oh, it's big. Uh, where is it? Why is it so big? It was beeping. Let me go to pool, so you're gonna take this chance while the game downloads to choose a different uh, different thingy. We go with the regular one. 
Rewind's Doko. Real heart animation now, that's creepy. Basic. <laughs> Caution. Oh, hey, the game finished downloading just in time. This one, maybe. We'll see. We'll see if it matches the game once we start the game. Now I need to edit the thing. Put the game. Sumer. Sumer. Done. That is started right away. Let me see if I'm not entirely sure if the game is picking up the audio as I want it to, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. For now, let's jump over. Game capture. Haha. -ha. All right. Let's see how this goes. Let me Okay, yeah, it is working as I want it to. All right, all right, all right, all right. So you should hear now, guys.
Music a bit loud versus your voice. Yeah, I'm adjusting. It is getting loud, okay. That should be better, I think. I was expecting another rendition of Trigger that will kill the bot. No. <laughs> I don't have that scene anymore. Nothing will happen. Okay, seems to be good now. Full screen, V sync, max FPS. 120? Do I want it at 120 FPS? Why does it have one why, why does it even have 120 FPS? Everything's in ultra. Sheesh. And then there's like <laughs> there's like there's like no sound settings other than global volume. <laughs> More FPS is better, right? <laughs> uh, English apply. I would love to put it in Russian, but I don't know if it has subtitles. There's there's no option for it anywhere, so. Anyway, we're gonna see how it runs without the default settings. <laughs> if not, we'll adjust. New game. Sometimes people make up things that aren't there. It seems to them that some entity controls their mind and their life. They do terrible things that can drive you crazy. I don't believe in paranormal phenomena. I believe that the troubles that people commit are their own fault or those who brought them to this. And in order for you to believe your eyes and not fictions, I made revealing videos about paranormal phenomena in two houses in which, according to people's stories, madness was happening. My name is Alex Morton, and we're getting started. I see. Are we getting started, Alex? Wait, no. This is out of playing, this is just a video. Bastard! Oh, I should put the... Hehe, <laughs> there we go. The scenic lighting. I searched all the corners, but I didn't find any evidence confirming paranormal activity in these houses. Now I'm going to an abandoned pioneer, pioneer camp in Russia at the request of my subscribers to find out if the rumors that the locals have been talking about for so many years are true. They say that there are ghosts of dead people in this place at the hands of one of the residents. He himself was never found. The bodies of those people were also not found. Local residents avoid this place, and those who were touched by this tragedy do not allow to open the doors of this building in memory of the dead and missing. I came to Russia to investigate what happened, to find out if the rumors are true and to find evidence of this. In keeping with my tradition, I close the doors of the building behind me so that there is no temptation to leave it. And I'm staying here for a few nights, recording a report. I have a video camera, a sleeping bag, a backpack with things and food with me. So basically this is an insane person, a YouTuber. Good old subscribers, we can definitely send people to Siberia. When are you guys sending me sending me to Siberia? So I can get into haunted houses. I got an achievement that said welcome to the camp. Whoa! Okay, so the game runs, runs great, but it is making me lag, so we're gonna... What's this? Why was it empty before? No, uh, back. Uh, let's deactivate V-Sync. Let's see if that helps any.
Now the game is cursed. What happened? I don't know. Why did it become that resolution? How do I fix this? I'm just gonna reopen the game because something happened when I... <laughs> when I touch the, that resolution button. Possible epileptic seizures associated with increased sensitivity to light. Some people may experience seizures when exposed to flashes of light, blah, blah, blah. Stereo sound. Okay, okay. I see your cure, your indecisiveness. No, I had people vote. English I can't change it now, how do I change it? Okay, I can do it with the keyword. Uh... What's the normal resolution in things usually? Not that one. Twenty. Oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, back. Now let's lower the graphics to use high. I guess anti-aliasing can only be ultra or ultra. Alright, and let's see the intro again. <sighs> yeah, I'll try limiting the FPS if, if it doesn't help. this so basically for the late arrivals this guy is like a a vlogger a youtuber whatever and he goes to places his subscribers tell him to go to record and stay the night and be like, oh yeah, people told me there's ghosts here, so I'm gonna spend the night here with my camera and I'm gonna close the door behind me so I am not tempted to escape. So a very smart fella.
if I do say so myself. Little do I know when this little money and this is just like coming, cave, coming in Milwaukee. Real. <laughs> and, and somehow, because of his subscribers, he went to fucking Russia. When are you spending night on that abandoned cabin of a moose with now a toilet? Um, whenever Maple invites me over. Flashing lights make cat go dead. All right. The Mr. Beast of horror, horror vlogging. I don't know what, I, what he's hammering there, but... Right now, let's see. Okay, yeah, it seems like now it's, it's better. It's not making me lag ridiculously. So I need to explore this place, who looks perfectly normal. What's this? I can't read what it says, I need to get my Russian English dictionary. And what, are you gonna translate word by word? Just take a picture with Google. Oh, wait! He, did, he doesn't just lock the door, he doesn't just close the door, he he closes himself in. The fuse is blown, there's no light in the building. Woo! Gotta commit to the bit. Russian English Dictionary. I was translating from Russian books in college and I took a Russian English Dictionary with me to help with the translation. I found it on the local market. What is my camera? That looks like a fuse. Forgot to use cement to close it fully. <laughs> Real. Alright, now we can read this. Now that we have our trusty dictionary. An investigation is underway on the disappearance of children and employees of the Yunus Pioneer Camp, which was opened in 1955 under the leadership of Director Maria Anatolyevna. A. The suspect in this case is a child living in this camp. The name is Jakob. Evidence of the victims was found in his locker. What happened to him and where he is now is not known. I see. We have dead victims and a probably possible mur murderer. None of them were found. These are, this is already looking promising. New success, successes in a space? What did the game mean? What did the game mean by that? Nothing like some dead kids to live it up your camping experience, real. Can I crouch? Okay, there we crouch. There's already weird sounds happening. Why are you so tired, my man? Hello. It is dark in here. Okay, so not everything is interactable. A lighter. I'll take that. The lighter is almost empty, I can't always use it. Alright.
Do not throw garbage in the sink. Respect the work of cleaners. Oh, it's the messages in the thing that he's... So I guess there's only one way to go. Okay, this game actually looks creepy. Cameras and like night filter just makes everything instantly creepier. Dank phone cause about a phone to watch folks not take important calls. How dare they? I see that I'm lagging again a little bit, so I'm gonna lower the FPS to 60. If that helps, continue. I see. Why did the <laughs> I can't, this man can't hold a picture and his camera at the same time. Painted doll. Can I open it? Maybe the real FPS was a friend we made along the way. Real. Alrighty. Doesn't seem like I can remove the um, planks from these doors. What is that? Why is there a gas mask? Oh, that's not creepy at all. A bunch of toys. A bunch of beer that I doubt, but beer and cigarettes that I doubt belong to the kids. Did someone feed the cats here? Is that cat food? What's this? In 1958, towards the end of the summer, parents called the camp to find out if everything was alright with their children, but no one answered. When they arrived at the camp, they found no one. Only abandoned things and a mess. All the locals helped in the search for the missing children were all in vain. Oh, so it was one of those things where like just everyone disappeared. I see. Also that the way that bunny is there doesn't look creepy at all. Are you gonna do something to me? Is that a cat? <gasps> Meow <gasps> There's more cats. What are those? <laughs> There's nothing to do. Are, is any of the doors gonna open now or something? Steppies that are not mine. Parent corner. The most necessary equipment to deal with children, like gas masks. Alright. Now comes the moment in every indie horror game where I get stuck and I try to discover what the fuck I need to do. High voltage is life threatening. Yay! Yeah. Just press that one pixel. Oh, I don't remember you being there. Then again, I didn't pay that much attention. I'm sure the mask helps. 
Oh, it's there's something there. That's a picture of a house. There are legends that there was an orphanage near this camp, and there lived a strange girl who was afraid of water. She did not wash and did not go to the river. One day, the other girls decided to laugh at her, tied her hands, and pour water over her. She was very scared and ran away. They couldn't find her for many days, and they decided that she was dead. But one night, she came back in her pajamas, all wet, and killed everyone who bullied her. After that, her spirit appears in the bathroom on a full moon. I see! <laughs> Lovely story. That bunny is in a very combative pose. Real. It's ready to throw hands. Wanna wanna go? I can't interact with it. I'm supposed to just leave you there, I guess. She's been gone a few days. Guess she's dead. Nineteen forty six. Bunny's still there? Yep. Uh can I read these ones? No. Oh, there's something here. You need to pick up a small mirror and stand in front of a large one to make a corridor. Say three times, barefoot lady, show me my fate, and I will give my shoes in return. In return. A ghost that wants shoes? Interesting. Girls in Russia love to guess in the camps and believe in the existence of everything paranormal. Such a girly thing to do. So what, I need to find a mirror and do the, and do that? Should I do it? Do you have any more equipment that could be useful? My man plans to spend a few nights here. He doesn't know. He's probably gonna die. So what, do I need a small mirror? Is the bunny still there? Is it still being creepy there? Uh, will you happen to have a mirror? I'm guessing these were the names of the children. What is that? Nothing. The painter grows up brave and is not afraid of difficulties. I see. Can I pick that up? Nope. This man really wants his Darwin Award? Real. Why does someone have a starfish there? Me and a friend were sneaking out of camp to eat some wild nuts and were forced to climb on top of a shark to hide from a wild boar. Oh no. I was scared and I didn't know it would be end there. I trusted her, my friend Anna. I'm sorry for not being able to stop this. Hmm? Stop what? What are we stopping? Or why didn't what didn't they stop? What's this? Hello? Bunny, is that you? Okay. Ghost. She she took her feet pics. <laughs> Do you want me to grab this ball? Oh, yeah, the camera.
Who scared the cat? It will be dark soon. Need to look for candles. Didn't you bring a flashlight? Where would... Where would you need to look for candles? And why didn't you bring them yourself then? This candle will be useful when night falls. Thank you, cats. There's something else there too. What's with the sirens going on? My man, aren't you worried about the sirens? No? Alright. Oh, hey! Didn't see you there. Hello. Oh, you were here like... I remember you. Uh, here, hello. You think this guy plans ahead? I mean, you have a point. Hey, there's something there. What's this? Oh, that looks lovely. Maybe I'll get nuked and I don't have to deal with this. Woo! I have candles and a lighter with not... I can light the candles now. You're just gonna light them here? I mean, sure. And why in a triangular shape? What's wrong with you, my man? Now I kind of spread out my sleeping bag. You're just gonna sleep here? Need to prepare for the night. Why is he so enthusiastic about this? Why is he so happy? Night one. <laughs> Any place is a good place to nap. I mean, I guess. Not up to sleep. The first night in the camp came. All right. How come I'm lagging again at night? Why did everything became ultra again? All right, back, continue. Why did the settings reset? <laughs> A well-programmed game. It cost me two bucks, please understand. Oh, the door closed, or did you close it? The dictionary... And was that some water? A small in the game, please understand. For real, for real. Let's go look at my bunny friend again. Wow, he's not there anymore. Why is there a dead bird in here? Hello. Yoon, who did this to you? You want a cigarette? Oh no, I, I, I grabbed that note, did I? Did I? Oh yeah, yeah, I did grab that note. Oh hey! You left me a picture of a babushka! Or a nonna. It's creepy! You said that about the picture and not about the dead birds on the floor? Something's wrong with this man.
I can't grab that right now, I can't. Wow, it's so dark. So much. Yes, hello? Oh, wait, no, it's back here. Hello? Hello? Motherfuck, that got me. Who's there? Moshi Mosh? Who's knocking here? They took the picture of the lady and they took the dead birds too. Wow. They're fast cleaners. Not sure if that was me or not. Back here, I guess. The sign does say to respect the cleaners. True. Always respect the cleaners, guys. Who's eating here? Who's num numbing? Sound like someone is chewing. Oh, hey! Didn't see you there. Hello. So he was hungry? <laughs> it's understandable. Yes? Hello? They closed the door! Now! Is the bunny moving? <gasps> it moved! Why is my man not commenting about this? Are you like a vlogger? Shouldn't you be like talking and shit? And be like, oh wow, I wonder what's going on. Woo! Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Any door open? Anything new? And the door open now? No? I go back. Wow. Fuck that. Ring ring. Oh. Phone doco. Oh, the phone is in the entrance. I'm stupid. Hello. Who are you? An uninvited guest. You were hit on the head. <laughs> Fucking rape my man. Hit that bell to see me die horribly. Oh my god, my head. Good morning. How did I get here? Did you wake up after the impact? I don't know. Did I? I need to find my video camera. Is that really the thing you're the most worried about? Anyway, I need to... Uh, fix the graphic. Fix the graphics again. <laughs> Why am I not getting nineteen eighty? Oh, there we go. 1920. Uh, continue. Everything transition. That's fine. It allows, it gives us a breather. 
How did blowing out the candles turn off the night vision camera? That's just how technology works nowadays. This man got hit in the head by some ghost girl and he's worried about his camera. Hey, a pigeon! Who left your foot there? Hello. I can't read what it says. I need to get my Russian English dictionary. Oh no, they took his dictionary from him too. Now he's dumb and he can't read. At least they drag him to the bedroom, question mark? <laughs> what an idiot can't even read. Uh, I wonder if our camera is in the new room or if it's in the entrance. Guess we'll see. My video camera! Oh, there it is. And it has something else, it has a little note! Oh, yeah, right, we can read the dictionary first. Where are you signing? You're not welcome here! My man should take that as a sign to leave. The one who hit on the head took the candles. I have to figure out what's going on here. My man, you should really take that as a sign to leave. I need to try to turn on the lights in the entire building. My man got assaulted. Got hit on the head. But I let you sleep in the bed. And got hit in the head, got a menacing note. And he's like, oh, I need to... I need to keep exploring. My man. My man. This is why you're gonna die a horrible death. By bunny or something. What was that? Oh, you're right, I got my camera back. I can look. I can see in the dark now. Any more dead birds? Is that something? No. That's a problem he can't read. Oh hey, it's looking at me now. I mean, I can't can say I remember if it was doing that before. Yes, hello. Opening of the youth children camp. Yes, Mr. Ghost or Miss Ghost. Have you seen, uh, do you have, will you happen to have a fuse that I can use? You sound like right behind me. Are you here? No, she's not here. But anything here that I can grab, that I can grab with my grabby hands? Woo! Look at those happy children! Late at night, when people fall asleep, no need for fun and no need for a fool. And the bells are empty, and the eyes are full of bitterness. The courtiers do not know what that fun, do not know what that fun means to the fool. The fool decides that enough is enough, and he that night, wearing a sad suit, poisons the court and the king. I am sad at heart, but the plan is not a failure. The fool will no longer be fun. The fool will no longer be fun for you. I see. I understand. There's a picture there. All right, we go to the other room then. I'm sure nothing will happen as we take the the things off.
Not supposed to have been written by Water Girl? Oh, probably. Why do you sigh so much, my dude? You were the one that decided to come to a haunted place. Hello. Look! There's fitties! And hand marks! And... What is that? A carcass of something. Need to look at this room, my man, you need to leave. The director of the pioneer camp, Junost, Maria Anatolievna, Anatolieva, Anatolievna, or Anatolievna, A, disappeared like the rest of the camp workers. Maria had previously taken care of children in an orphanage from 1944 to 1950. She was a caregiver who devoted herself only to work. Discipline was the most important to her, so the parents entrusted their children to her. And their places really should be more accessible. Who, who forgot their dinner here? But really, man, you're seeing like dead animals. You're not gonna open it? Really? Alright. Suit yourself. <laughs> we clean it, Pioneer. Show an example in everything. You weren't hungry anymore? God damn. Leave your leftovers here. And look at all these birds. Is that a fuse I see with my little eye? Wow, you're making... I'll take the box with me. <laughs> Woo! He really made... Need to take the box to the sleeping bag. He really made all that noise. Hello! Wait, let me drop this here first. Where are you going? Where, where are you putting that down? Alright. Woo! Turn on the light! How? Uh... Switch doko. I don't think those switchers switches are working. Oh wait, there's something there. Opening of an orphanage. Anyway, are you here? My man, how are you supposed to turn on the lights? There's no switches. What were you thinking? What am I supposed to put a, a light bulb there? All right. I guess it will happen at night, yeah. <laughs> so I guess we go back to the hunter, to the course hallway, course hallway. Hello. I got the fuse fixed. Is there something else in the room with the carcass that I missed? Aside from the dead carcass. Is 
Is that something you can read? No? Oh, there's a photo there. Maybe I need to grab this. I see! I see. You think he'll be fine? I don't think he'll be fine. I'm sorry, my man, but I have no faith in you whatsoever. Not after your questionable choices. Right. Do I need to grab this switch to replace the other ones? No? Okay. Uh, Mr. Ghost Bunny, will you tell me what do I need to do? Guess we go back. Ooh. When I'm mysterious, Jogo. I I I I I do not get that reference. I apologize. There's something there! Woo! Pretty! I don't know what that is. Should I just... Hello? <laughs> um... I see. Any idea what should I do, guys? There's so much walking around I can do. Oh, there's another picture here that I missed. Sorry, did I have to find that? That's it, that's the game. I fix the lights. Now I'm done forever. No, there's no light bulb, so I'm guessing I should... I'm guessing I should like Put the light bulbs on the sockets, but it, it doesn't seem like I can grab them. The game did tell me to turn on the light, but I mean, light's not working. What do you want of me, game? You wanna turn on this light? My man? stuck in indie horror games you want to touch the body you want to touch the carcass when I eat some meat it's good for you it's delicious consume the meat hey sorry What am I missing for progress to be made? Did I mute myself? No.
I'm talking, yeah. And my microphone is working, I see it in OBS. Did you have the volume <laughs> lowered? I somehow muted stream. <laughs> wow. Trying to blame me for his mistakes. Unbelievable. I read this one already. Do I need a gas mask? We're very confused why everything was so quiet for so long. Wow. Oh, I'm getting on top of that. Is that something? No. Should I vent? I can't vent. There's a pigeon. Mr. Pigeon, tell me what to do. I am le very confused. Kill the pigeon? I can't, I can't do anything. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Yes, hello? Anyone here? No? Am I supposed to put my camera here? What am I supposed to do? I tried respecting the cleaners. You know what, maybe that's what I should do. Maybe I should respect the cleaners more. Maybe I didn't respect them enough and now they're ignoring me. You try reading the dev's mind. No, this is the the entrance door, and this guy uh, buried himself, so he wouldn't get out when the ghosts start killing him. Hmm. I wanted to see if there were any controllers, I mean, actions that I've been missing. That I read, parent corner. Can I pick up the phone? I'm supposed to sleep. What do you want from me, game? Find it in the next part of the game. Thank you. Can 
I don't wonder if it bugged. Because I mean there's only there's just there's so much I can do. Oh yeah, I forgot I can do that. Maybe I need to do that. Wow! To like, see some jump scare or something. And then the game will progress. Look at the fuses! Hello. Where you go, Mr. Ghost? Why are, are there like just perfectly fine switches lying around like that one? I am starting to think that the game might have booged out. Anything in the trash that I should collect? Do I need to zoom in at the verb or at this or at that? Hello, Mr. Pigeon. <gasps> Peels? What too many peels on them? Mr. Monkey, no? Pills here. Thank you for the hydrate. Man, the plan was to finish this game today, but at this rate, I don't know if that will happen. Look at the hand. Look at the steppy steps. Mmm, yummy. It comes from like here, but there's nothing here. A gate.
Oh, that. Oh yeah, that thing I had seen in the forum, then I forgot about it. Woo! Silence. Alright, now I guess we can go back and we'll get some ghosty. Hello. No ghosty? I need to go to bed, it'll be dark soon. So what, you go to bed early so you can wake up at like 3 a.m.? I like the waiting hour. Leap. Progress! Can't believe I had just forgotten about that thing. Night two. This man really goes to sleep at like six, real. The clock stopped at 3 7 a.m. There is no place for strangers. The second night in the camp came. Now. Again, let me <laughs> fix the <laughs> the graphics. Hello, Koji. The one was good, but there was too much peace. Oh no! What game was it? Thank you for gifting us all, I mean. First to Fathom, Iron Bark Lookout. Oh, I almost play another First to Fathom. First to Fathom. The Carson House. But now I'm playing Summer 58. <laughs> I might check out the First to Fathom games, though. They looked interesting. Thank you for the follow! I'm gonna take this chance. Uh, everyone, welcome Koji. Thank you for the raid and welcome raiders. I'm Kuruko. I'm playing this spoopy game called Summer 58. Um, there's some ghosties around. That what you see there, there, there. It's my heart rate. <laughs> and I just give me just three seconds because I'm gonna go get my hoodie because I'm getting cold. <laughs> Return. I was petting my cat. Yeah, summer 58. And yeah, I'm a fox. We love spooky games, we do. Tomorrow you will be free. But Bellhound, tomorrow is the start of Halloween too. <laughs> and yeah, you were saying you play this too? How did you enjoy it? I'm on the second night. <laughs> oh yeah. And this man, I have concerns for this man. I don't think he has a sense of self-preservation. Self Is that a new thing? No. It's very spooky, took on my heart a bit too, but very well made. Yeah, I'm only having the issue, the issue that, uh... Why am I picking them up? 
that uh, I need to change the <laughs> video settings every time there's a scene. <laughs> yeah, this guy just bored himself in here. He's a he's a vlogger. He's doing this for the vine or something. Um, bathroom. Always, I mean, yeah, always bathroom first. That chair was not there. Can I get on the chair? No. Is this the same picture from the morning? Yeah. Whoa. Not for the van! You have a very lovely voice. <gasps> Thank you! <laughs> oh, oh. That wasn't there either. Well, yeah, you tried leaving. Does he actually say something if you try to leave? Let's see. I didn't even try because I was like, this guy. This guy really just bored himself. <laughs> and it comes in three languages. Oh, wow. Ghosty! Also, like, he got hit on the head on the first day by some ghost kid, and he's still going strong. Alright. Yes? Oh! Well, hello there! Alright, be that way. Anything here? That's new, I think. Oh no, this is not new. Can't show weakness before the ghost kids they'll eat you alive. They kind of smell fear. Yeah, but like he was a smacked over the head after seeing a random kid looking at his at his at his stuff, got dragged to some other room. Then got like some dead animal left. And he somehow still he still doesn't get the message. Are you going for my stuff again? You going to steal my shit? This is new. Uh -huh, I see. Is the pigeon still there? No. <laughs> Unprotected shirt shots to the school. Yeah. Uh, the way she just zoomed by! She's zooming. What? Oh, they took the... the deer body. A ball? The Xbox wasn't here before. A lot of things weren't here before, my man. Me on the micro, you just letting me know my hot pocket is ready. <laughs> Nyom. It's locked. It would be interesting to know what's inside. Would it? Would it really be interesting? Let's go, hot pocket. Where is the real? Hello? There were spare light bulbs in the box. Oh, did they explode a light bulb? Sorry, I didn't notice. There's just so many things happening. Hello? Fast lady? Where'd you go? Are you in the bathroom? Are you stealing my shit? No? Let's not pick it up, let's leave it here and not put it in a safe place.
Where do I even need to take this light bulb? My man, I did not see which light bulb which light bulbs exploded. This one? There? No. Here? How is <laughs> just magically makes the light bulb float. I hear water running. Is it from the bathroom? Must be from the bathroom. Hello? Is that you, water girl? Look, there's a little bunny! What is this box? Another one? Okay, are you not gonna comment about the Mr... Okay, this is... Okay, that guy is actually creepy. Creepier than the bunnies from the first night. <laughs> oh, what's... Well, hello there. Love how my man has like no reaction to anything. <laughs> I hate it. Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> Lady, you're leaking. Oh, hey! I'm sure she's friendly. Fight him? They didn't want to fight. <laughs> wow, you ma Holy fuck! Oh, but you left my light bulbs. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mom, I threw up. <laughs> Where did ghost... Demon... Kid go. He made everything like extra dark. All right, somewhere here. Who's breathing? Hello? <laughs> it was interesting to know what's inside. Is someone breathing or is this guy breathing? I don't know. Oh, wait, it's not over me. What did you drop? What did you break? Why are you so messy? Something is breathing real. Right, let's go into here. Sure, nothing bad will happen. Hello? Oh, that one looked creepy. I only saw it from the corner of my eye. With this key, I can open the box. Really, 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 man. Why are you on the table? Why are you on the table? Get down from there. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Our tiny fussy anarchists and we love them for it. Yay, hello, here you are. You've been acting up today. 
at this jump because none of them can make Kuruko hit the high series with the hilarious joke. I should have played this with Maple. From 1950. A loud scandal in an orphanage for in an orphanage for orphans. <laughs> I see. <laughs> A loud scandal in an orphanage for orphans. <laughs> the nurse cruelly mocked the residents. One of the employees reported violations of authority. A decision is made to close the institution. We remind you that the shelter was opened since 1944. Children who were left without parents during the war lived there. <laughs> Wait! An orphanage for orphans? <laughs> who would have thunk it? <laughs> And I can can I can can I grab the note that's beside it? No. All right, we go open the mysterious box since this guy. This guy, I don't know what's wrong with this guy. Right, let's go open the box. Maybe it'll eat you, and we can be free of you. Wow, dear diary. Today is the annual opening day of my camp. I have been preparing for this for three years, so that this summer will be special for me. During these days, I will bring up real people in them, but they will also help me a lot. What? During these days, I will bring up real... What? Uh? <laughs> Night of 58. Oh, did we travel back in time? The real killer. Have you read the director's story? What? The bite of 58. <laughs> she says something about a thunderstorm. What's this? Take. Oh, it's a little lantern. So what were you, like a paranormal investigator? Like, did you write journals? Why are you here in the dead of night? Elaborate, explain yourself, whoever you are. The doctor made the wrong diagnosis for Ivan. He needs a heart transplant. Only this will help him. I no longer have the strength to fight with the doctors. We decided not to contact them again. I will heal my son myself, no matter what it takes. Are you gonna get a heart yourself and transplant it to your son? So many birds outside. Oh, look at that fox! It doesn't work! Oh, like, did the, the lights, like, go out? Because of the thunderstorm? Question mark? <gasps> Can I wave myself? Wow, I would zero kilos. So this is the orphanage for orphans. Children and caregivers are asleep. I won't bother them. Are you not gonna say something about that whatever that just broke? Where was it? Was it here? Or was it on the other room? <gasps> A safe? Someone found and hid my key to the safe. So what, do you need to find your key now? Oh, hey! More dead birds. 
Anna, we need to run. It's all because of the director. I was spying on her. She was talking to someone about something bad. You have to believe me. Warn everyone. We don't have much time until I hid her key in the closet. We can make it. Help me. What an asshole. Please explain. Who is getting killed? And who is the killer? Oh, there's the key. There's my key. The key to the safe. You filthy child! Am I the director? Am I the bad guy? Are we the buddies? Ooh, what's in here? Jacob Parasit sold the second gas cylinder. What? A special boy, Jacob, came to the camp. He has no parents or relatives, and he became my favorite because he is so similar to my son, Ivan. I really want to see him. Jacob is a good boy, although he does not speak, but he understands everything and does everything I ask. In the afternoon, I had to meet with Alexei Sergeyevich at the shelter where we used to work. He ordered us to fulfill our agreement tonight. This day has come. Jacob will help me with this. Before going to bed, children always invent horror stories while the counselors put them to bed. This can distract them. Ah. We worked together with Alexei Sergeyevich in an orphanage. Then I acted carelessly and I received a complaint. The director had to close the shelter. I was suspended from medical work. Now I will not make such a mistake because only he knows about our agreement. I must continue to find people for him to collect their kidneys. What? Are we... organ trafficking children? And I will not make such a mistake because only he knows about our agreement. I must continue to find people for him to collect their kidneys. And Alexei Sergeyevich Sergi Sergi will have to perform a heart transplant operation for Ivan. According to all indicators from the medical record, Jacob is an ideal donor. I'll set up an accident and no one will look for him. Oh. I see. The filter is missing and the glass is broken. He ruined my gas mask. So what, do I need to find a new gas mask? I need to spray sleeping gas so that all the children can be transferred to the hospital for surgery and then return back. I'm guessing I need to find a gas mask replacement first. I guess. Need to put the gas cylinder under the door and go back to the classroom. So that's why there were gas masks. Let's go! Children trafficking! Woo! Oh, there's another one there. Oh, now! Who could have seen this coming? a little child trafficking as opposed to big child trafficking okay so the director of the orphanage was in cahoots with some sussy doctor to steal the kidneys from children and he promised the director that he would make a heart transplant from one of the orphan boys to his son that needed a heart transplant. So she was putting them to sleep to transfer them to the hospital, but someone left a gas tank sleeping with sleeping gas for her too. So, yeah. Maria's diary.
Are you not gonna take your dictionary anymore? Are you finally going to leave? Have you finally decided that you've had enough? Of course not, of course you haven't. You're not smart like that. Oh, I can take that now. No one will be offended. You pick up a pocket watch. Why are you not taking your dictionary anymore? Do you did you learn Russian? In these few nights? In this haunted place? Wow, there's a note there! Ooh, I wonder what it says. You were told to get out of here. Leave this place alone. And I'm gonna take that because I don't know what's good for me. There are empty pages left in Maria's diary. You can use them to answer. I hear him standing outside the door. What? Oh, do I need to like take all the things now? I know what happened here. Let me help you. Tell me, who are you? Oh, are you trying to communicate with the ghost? The ghost know we're YouTube famous? Do you know... I have... Uh, how many subscribers do you think this guy have? Us. Should probably go pick up the phone. I'm always against picking up the phone in horror games, but I'm pretty sure that's what the game wants me to do. So let's go pick up the phone and probably be course forever. 153 total. Oh, hello! At the very least, 10,000? Do you know I have 10,000 subscribers? Yes? Should try writing the letter again. Is that William Afton? I read that people were killed here. Did you do that? Tell me, and then I can help you. Well, this is the scary movie universe. Real. What's up? I wonder, should I pick up more things in the meantime? There's like all these pictures that I can... I can take them now. Yo, my sister is here. I hear, I can hear her stomping down the stairs. Which notes can I take? See this jump scare coming? Real. Hello. Hello. Como le fue? Aquí yo estoy curseándome. Estoy aquí curseándome con un juego de terror. Spoopy. 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 
Me compré una sopita de chicken thai. Está buena harta. I don't know why I'm taking all the pictures with me, but I mean, you never know. Maybe it will help me communicate with the ghost better. Or something. Are you back here? Should I go to the locked door now? Is that what you want from me? Oh, there's a nose there! Probably gonna tell me to fucking die or something. I was accused, but I didn't do it. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, but tell me what happened. We are communicating. Is your name Jacob? Have you been living here alone for many years? Who's shaky shaking? For a moment I was like, how does this little kid know English? But then I remember he's actually writing in Russian. Who's making a ruckus over there? Ghost? Bunny ghost? Is that you? Or is it the lady? There's another note now. Yes, here I can communicate with my friends. We guard this place because it is our home. A lot of people came here used to break our things, but my friends helped me to drive away strangers. I'm afraid that someone will see me and tell me that I live here and those people will come for me. Knock knock. Hello, Mr. Bunnyman. Who are your friends? Why are they here? T why are they here too? Do you really want to know? Bunny is gone. Should my man really be communicating with ghosts? What do you guys think? The spirits of this place, those who were tortured here, they remain locked up here. That day, in the evening after lights out, someone came. Probably it was the person with whom the director spoke. He didn't find me. I think that because of this, he poisoned all the residents and the director. Sheesh! Always talk to ghosts? Dum dum! Who's out there? All this was Plummer, the director of the camp? What are you talking about? What kind of person was she talking to? I'm not sure I want to go to that person on the window. Should we? Oh, they're gone. It's all her. I saw a director talking to someone in an old hospital near the camp. They agreed that they would do their work at night. Then I realized that it was connected with us, but I couldn't warn everyone. I didn't see who else was there, because I was scared and hid. In the morning I went to the building and found no one. Her safe was also not there. I thought that the man and his assistants had taken everyone away and hidden the bodies in that building. I had to stay here and live in the ventilation. Only sometimes go to the rooms. He lives in the ventilation? He's so loud to tear off pages. 
that building abandoned? Can I get there? Are you really gonna get to another building from here? Did you not have enough already? What did Bro mean by that? Jakob doesn't answer anymore. It's time to go to the Bandar Hospital. I need to turn the boards off the front door. Why is he going to the Bandar Hospital? What is wrong with this man? Night three. How many nights? Jacob said that I could find proof here. Let's take a look around. Was that you, my man? I just came here, I need to find proof. After you just let me, I'm gonna quickly look how many nights this game is. Because I was not expecting to go this long. Uh, how many nights? Summer of 58. But like the game. Level one, level two, level three, level four. Second night, serial killer. Oh, I missed some stuff. Oh, no. Uh, okay. Hospital. Okay, seems like there's not much missing. So let's continue. I'm guessing we'll get very spooked in the hospital and, and, and die. But yeah, there doesn't seem to be much more after the hospital. I did miss some stuff. Though I was looking at a... Uh, the only thing I could find to know, like, more or less, what was I missing? Was an like achievement guide that had like the levels listed, and I missed some things. 
I missed a very important achievement that was like about about feeding the cats. It's terrible. Do I need to? Hello? May anyone open the door for me? Yes? Hello? Is the door open now? Getting stuff over there. Oh, hello. Nineteen forty six after the war. Dozens of children end up in shelters after losing their parents. An orphanage for the maintenance and upbringing of orphans work under the leadership of the military. Whoosh. What's making all that noise? Hello? Can I open this? No? This is a strange hospital. Subscribing 13 months. Whoa, how are you doing? We are getting spooked somewhat. Oh, thank you. Finally, progress. Can't believe I missed the feed the cat achievement. I'm a horrible person. Good, just chilling here, just fighting cursed bunnies and stuff. The doctor of the orphanage was detained for illegal organ trafficking for six years. He fraudulently made incorrect diagnoses and performed operations to remove the kidney. The director did not know about this, but he could not continue to lead his position. The orphanage was closed, the building became abandoned. Haha, <laughs> but the director knew. The director was in cahoots. To steal the kidneys of the children. Can I open this? For some reason, it's so funny to me that it's just the kidneys. This door leads to another corridor. I have an angle grinder with me in my backpack. I can cut all the chains and find where the evidence is hidden. Sheesh! Alright. Oh wait, you're going to... No, you closed the door on me again! How dare you! Hopefully you didn't steal my... My things. The place won't let me go. I have to finish what I started. You are s I don't know what... <laughs> I thought... It wasn't the tool I think I thought it was. Listen, you want us to harvest all the organs? I mean, these evil people we're talking about. Yum. I thought he had like those, those like, you know, like the big tool thingy, you know, like a little, literal saw. Why do you just carry that on your backpack, man? How are you allowed to bring it through airports? Uh 
Aha, uh -huh, a note. I know what I'm doing is wrong, but I have no choice. I have to save my son, Ivan. I was lucky that Alexei Sergeyevich agreed to help. I mustn't let him down. No one should know about our affairs. Aha, uh -huh, but I know. This might be years later, but I know. I know what you did. I know your crimes. I know what you did in the summer of 58. Now, will this man leave? Hello? Excuse me, I'm just... I'm looking around. I'm going! Just a moment, I'm opening the door. Whoa! A child! <laughs> Insert Furuko panic emote. A child! Hmm, something tells me this was an operating place where they took the kidneys from the children. Small thing. Is this anything enough for you, my man? What else are you looking for? What do we? Why do you even want? What do you even want the evidence for? Who are you gonna tell this truth to? Aside from your ten thousand subscribers, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification button. And comment. <laughs> I didn't have time to save him. I don't believe it. This can't be happening. This is not my Vanessa. I'll save him. I need to find a donor urgently. Hmm. Looks like things didn't go too well. See, I think I thought he had one of these. Not like a literal soul thing. Is this note new or...? No, I read that. There's the fridge. Uh, exit doco. Here. Alrighty. This doesn't open. I guess that's where I need to go. Because I didn't even touch that door. The battery of the angle grinder has run out. It's fine. I found a replacement. Just in time. I see. Bless you. I don't know if I'll make it to the morning, because today's shift is bothering me. I want to run away from here, but then I won't get paid. I hear voices, as if I'm not alone. I thought I saw a woman. More like her silhouette or shadow. She went into the closet. I'm afraid to follow her and move the closet. I don't want to check if it's true. Or maybe it's just my imagination, which has sharpened after a glass of vodka. On the cabinet weigh some products made of feathers and cobwebs. I have never seen them anywhere. They look terrible, and it smells of dead things from there. Okay, I'll have another glass and go to bed until morning. <laughs> Easy. Just... How to fight ghost. Ghost. Just get drunk. And forget about your problems. You should take some of that vodka, my friend. So we go to the closet then? In what closet though? I can see that here. Holy fuck! That got me. Shh. 
Just hit the hard stuff and EP. Hello. I'm guessing that's the woman the drunk was talking about. Whoa! Any other jump scare here? Anything here? Just a wall? Anything on the window? Oh no, door locked. Oh no, door locked. Oh no. It's one of those close hallway situations. Oh no, now it's open. I'm sure nothing will jump at me. Did the child go into the toilet? Oh, hello. The devil is inside. Interesting achievement. A year later, after the event in 1950, the building was reclassified as a hospital, but with budget cuts, it stopped working again. Huh. You don't say. She seemed angry. She seemed very angry. Anything at the end of the hallway? Now it's a longer hallway. Oh, that does not look creepy at all. My man is strong. Oh, that's no good. I don't like how that looks. Oh my god! Well, of course this man doesn't care. And he's just gonna walk in... Into the skeleton room. With the dead body. That will surely jump at me. How had her body not decomposed after all these years? Here are the documents from 1958. Alexis Sergeyevich, about whom Maria spoke, replied to her that he would no longer participate in this and refused to work with her. Then what was the case in question, and who was she talking to when Jacob saw her? There's something else. The death certificate document, this is her son Ivan. He died in the fall of 1950. Apparently she couldn't stand it and went crazy. She wanted to save him so badly that she lost touch with reality. Poor woman. Death certificate. Let the one who finds me feel the pain of a mother who had lost her child. I cursed everyone who couldn't help me, and I'm not just going to leave, I'll be back. What she meant by that, and how she will return? Maria, I'm so sorry. Are you really sorry, my man? Do you see all these skeletons? Also, did you notice that the body now is gone? We are trapped in the bone room! My man, yeah, my man really just entered the bone zone. Alright, door, doko. Do I need to just spin around until she decides to show up? Oh no, there's something here. Mmm. I'll be back soon, the dead and the buried. This is an interestingly shaped knife. Need to get out of here as soon as possible. Oh, and the body's there again. You are so close now, my man. Oh, am I supposed to follow the... Oh. Oh, thank you for clearing the way for me. You did my god the three toilet setup, you know the meta. 
he said I need to get away, we need to get out, so I guess I'll just go to the door, face any demons that show up in my way. <laughs> Three weeks later? Return to the camp. Why is my mom back to the camp three weeks later? What was he doing during those three weeks? <laughs> three weeks in this place would have made himself comfortable with the ghost. I mean, he really is comfortable with the ghost by the way he was just started communicating with a ghost child. Oh, but like, he just came alone now. Hey there, bunny. Bunny, bunny. My man, it's dark. You, you do not have your camera anymore. He was on a spiritual journey, literally. Hello, Jacob. You no longer need to be afraid that you will be found and accused of something that you did not do. I've taken care of everything. I didn't tell anyone that you leave here with your friends. Protect this place further. Now it is rightfully only your home. Your friend, Alex Morton. Okay? I am glad that this investigation turned out to be so interesting and unique. I managed to solve the mystery of 58 and help Jacko find peace and freedom. You can read about this in my blog, but we need to move on. I'm going to another place with a terrible history where witches used to live. And there I will have an initial case. I will tell you about it later. This man is just absolutely immune to everything. Is that the end? Okay, yeah, that's all. That's all. My man really was like, and that was, uh, that was the, that was the case of the summer '58. I solved the mystery and helped the ghost. You can read about it on my blog. Remember to follow and share and comment. Next time, I will see you in some witch place. <laughs> it was fun though, it was a fun game. Maybe that's why people sub to him, real. He undersells everything. <laughs> and that's how I help a ghost child find peace. Anyway, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and comment, and whatever. Is he gonna get attacked by some demon now? Or is he good? Well, he's good. Summer 58. Alrighty. A few days later. <gasps> it goes on. Is now, is he gonna get eaten by a demon? From day to day. Oh, is he now at the other place? The battery is dead. Is this how he dies? I had to wait for the person who bought this house. But after his arrival, a few days later, something went wrong. This place has ceased to be harmless. I'm trapped here. I don't think that a woman from a shelter in Russia could get attached and follow me. Does this house have a pendulum for people like her? What if other spirits followed me? Maybe that's why I didn't find anyone in those houses. 
I miraculously managed to escape from that abandoned orphanage, but I am not I am not sure that I will be released now. We need to try to get out and warn that guy that is dangerous to stay here. And warn warn what guy? Who are you? Where am I? I guess I will simply advance and face my death. Like the brave boy I am. Oh, it's the dagger! Oh. Jesus. Okay, but there's nothing. Hello? Oh, hello. Oh, is this a Blair Witch thing? <sighs> a fork. The battery is dead. Did they leave anything here in the corner where they were? No? So he did get cursed. It's the lady! To be continued. <laughs> Was it ever continued? Okay, that was interesting. I wonder if you can get more endings. For now, we're just gonna exit the game. And we're just gonna go back here. I'm gonna make this smaller. To be continued in the fall, the fall 50. That was an experience. Yeah, that was fun. That was interesting. That was an interesting game. I think it takes an interesting approach, you know, of like trying to help the ghost. I guess you could say. Out of 10, how spooky it was. Oh, wow. Why did my b 2 studio use get cursed? <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just... I think my b 2 studio had an oopsie. I think those frames that... that were killed every time I had to... every time the game went back to like ultra and 120 FPS just came... <laughs> just came all in a row. But yeah, out of 10 how spooky it was, I would say an 8, maybe a 7. It did get me a few times. It did creep me out. Uh, it was pretty fun, it was pretty fun. Kinda, as I said, I kinda wish I would have played that with Maple. <laughs> or with someone else. Or the screamings. <laughs> Well, it's pretty interesting though how it gets the approach of like, oh, like I'm gonna I'm gonna help this this ghost kid, you know, like be free. But then it gets, uh, like the ghost lady follows him to the to the next place that he goes. Go have a token coward. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, custom. But yeah, what did you guys? What did you guys think? I really liked it as, a, as an experience. You know, it was pretty spooky. I had a nice narrative, also like a good story. Uh, would have liked if the if the guy reacted a little bit more to the scares. Because it there the. 
I feel there is a certain disconnect in games where like the character you're playing does not actually react to the scare <laughs> like at all. He was a sort of flappable as the fox. <laughs> Think with a pet, eh, honey? But, uh, but yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Other than that, it was fun. I'm well, some broken English here and there, but I mean, that's understandable. There was Russian developers. Um, clearly, when like you have a developer whose English is not their first language and they don't have like an English person for QA, that kind of stuff, you will get things like this. But I mean, that's understandable. That's fine. It did not really kill the experience, except for the the, or, the orphanage for orphans. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> but yeah, as I said, I will just like I will just have like the guy to react a little more because the fact that he didn't even move when like shit went down was like oh. So I guess. It's supposed to like you move, you know, like you have your hand in the mouse and like you move like everywhere, kind of like how Maple did in Fatal Frame. <laughs> no, but it would have been an orphanage for kids with parents. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it's an interesting narrative. Like I didn't didn't think it would go that way of like you know, you had this the director who wanted to save her son. I was willing to go to for to really dark places for it. Can let shaky hands affect the experience for his viewers real. It would have been fun, it would have it would have been fun too. If like, or for this game or for any, there's quite a few games that are like someone recording for like a vlog or whatever. It would be fun if every now and then you will get like, you know, like comments from people. <laughs> and maybe, you know, like have them react to like, oh, what was that? I did miss a few achievements though, but I don't think I don't think it's a multiple ending game. But yeah, very nice, short and sweet. So yeah, nice experience. Really enjoyed it. it th there were some things though, like okay, we know at the end that the lady was like the demon, the ghost. Like chat react to stop the streamer. Chat keeps saying they miss. Yeah, yeah, that would be fun. And also will be, you know, some sometimes games do this in that they will move the camera to what they want you to see. It would have been nice sometimes because like, you know, I didn't, I didn't realize like the light bulbs exploded. I didn't know which light bulb it was. <laughs> I sometimes I will hear things and I will be like, where where am I supposed to look? <laughs> but you know, it's all minor things. I don't I don't think they really take from the experience overall. But really nice, really fun. Uh, I was gonna say something else. I forgot. <laughs> oh yeah, the ghost lady. So we know that the lady, you know the ghost, we know the ghost was the director. Apparently, who couldn't save her son, had some issues, had a fallout apparently with the person that was supposed to do the surgery. Uh, I think so. I think that was the story. It was it was kind of hard to follow at some points. But I'm like, if it, if she was the ghost, you know, and you see her at the end, yeah, that's clearly like an old lady ghost. The what was with the what was with. What was with like the ring girl and the, the ceiling at some point in the bathroom and the the little demon thing <laughs> It must be nice to not feel fear <laughs> oh. 
Did it scare you, Cody? Did the game scare you? Did it spoop you? You can tell I was a bit nervous though during the whole thing. Like I was I, I did I I I was a bit tense. By the way, I just kept blabbering nonsense. The game I was playing scared me so bad at one point I can still feel my heart. <gasps> First to fathom? Okay, I'll need to check those out then. Cause you did fight his game wasn't a score scared at all. <laughs> I need to I need to play first of Adam then. I might check out the uh, the Carson House one since it it wasn't like two bucks too. <laughs> and those can be done in like one stream. Because I don't I, I like to play some more some other stuff. Like for example, I really wanna play Alan Wake, but I don't wanna start multi-stream games at this point because I have too many ongoing games. It was a lot of fun, but god damn it, got me good. <laughs> I need to check it out then. But anyway, 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 that will be all for me for today. I didn't even expect to stream this long, but this game, the game was longer. It didn't help that at one point I, I just forgot where the light switch was and was like, going around like an idiot <laughs> uh, but yeah didn't actually expect to go this long so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna quit it here i'll see you guys on friday there's gonna be two streams on friday i'm gonna first early at like 7 or 7 30 maybe depending on at what time i get home and eat and whatnot i'm gonna be watching the honkai star Rail live stream from the morning from that morning uh, 1.5 so new content coming new stuff new characters and then after that i mean i'm gonna end the stream and then rest a little bit probably hopefully and then i'm gonna be playing escape the back rooms and i forgot to say that it's uh, i'm gonna be playing that with grok again we're gonna be escaping the back rooms together uh and then on saturday we go back to to regularly scheduled gacha with Nero cloud and honkai so yeah I'll see you guys on the weekend. Enjoy your Halloween. Enjoy your spoops. And I'll probably keep playing spoopy games here and there during November. As I said, in, in solidarity to Maple. <laughs> that that couldn't couldn't stream during October. <laughs> so yeah, my my might sprinkle some short horror games here and there. But for now, thank you guys for coming. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, yeah, it's time for Halloween too. October 2.0. <laughs> Electric Boogaloo. But yeah, thank you guys for coming. Hope you enjoyed. Stay safe out there. Be careful with the spoops and the old ghost ladies. And I'll see you next time. So bye-bye. <laughs>